a new video. So in today's video, I am going to be using my Rachel Wilder's acrylic. This is the premium liquid monomer. I have got some colours here. I've got burlesque. Oh my god, that colour's gorgeous. Corn dog, gorgeous. Roxy, really gorgeous. These are perfect autumnal colours in my opinion. I've also got toffee which is one of the core colours. This one I got for Tempe on one of the Wednesday deals bargain. Do check out her Facebook group for all her Wednesday bargains. I've also got glitter from Nail Sugar. I was trying to decide which one to use. Honestly it was so difficult. <laughs> I was like right I'm gonna use this one. This one is actually called Cherry Glaze and i've got these autumn leaves here that i absolutely love the autumn leaves i do change my mind and i end up using this one which is called spice sunset this has got a little bit more copper in it and i felt like this would go better with this set so this set is actually this video is a collaboration video with the lovely kelly from chronically creative nails she's also on youtube i'm gonna pop um, actually, I'm not going to do it yet. I'll do it at the end. I'm going to pop a picture of the set that she's done for this collaboration at the end of the video. And you can go and have a look. And then I'm going to leave the link for her video down below. I can't wait to watch her video. The nails are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. So, once you've watched my video, I'm going to put it at the end so that you watch this first if you want to. I mean, you can skip straight away to hers. <laughs> The link to the video will be in the description box below. Go and give her um, a follow, a, you know, subscribe, not a follow, because it's YouTube, not Instagram. Um, she's absolutely lovely. She will have you in hysterics as well. She is lovely. I love her, Kelly. She's she's a beaut. She's one of the good ones, you know. Um, so back to my set. I've put toffee at the top, and then I just kind of marbled all three of the colours very simply. Um, on the bottom half of the nail and then along the where the burlesque is that deep purple oh my god burlesque is just amazing I'm gonna put some of the spiced sunset glitter across that where that meets toffee and then on top of that I'm gonna put some of these leaves I, I just love the autumn I don't know what it is I get so excited about like these little leaves in the autumn I'm just going to place some of them on top of that glitter. And then that will basically be that nail finished. I do need to cap it, but I'm going to cap them all at the end. So I'm going to leave it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Um, all the glitters and stuff from Nail Sugar, you can get from Nail Sugar. That makes no sense. <laughs> all the glitters that I'm using today are from Nail Sugar, is what I'm trying to say. Although I'm only using one glitter and some leaves. But you can get them from Nail Sugar. You can get 10% off using my code NATMUG10. Um, to go, oh, just go and have a look at the other bits and pieces that Karen sells on the website. It's amazing. I'll leave the link down below as well. And I'll leave the link to Rachel Wilder's website as well. So you can go and find her acrylic. This acrylic colour is Roxy. I wanted to do a an ombre here. Um, this colour is amazing. It's got like a, like a shimmery... I don't know, it's almost like a flaky glitter through it. It's really nice. Um, didn't work out very well, this. The, it just didn't... Uh, it's, it's my fault. Um, I didn't blend it very well there. <laughs> and it ended up more like a colour block. But I do, I do go over in a minute with some more. You'll see in a second. Managed to fade it down a little bit better. And I think I made this bead a little bit wetter so that it would blend a bit eas more easily. But I still wasn't happy with the blend. So what do we do when we don't like it? We cover that beep up with glitter. Cover that shit up with glitter. You can't say that word, it's rude. Um, I'm using, obviously, the Spiced Sunset again. And I'm going to put this one on in like a swoosh. Who doesn't love a glitter swoosh? I love a glitter swoosh. And I just love the I love these like autumn glitters. They're so nice. There we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I will cap it, but as I said before, I'll do that at the end. Right, the next nail 
is going to be i this i've got so much time for this color this burlesque color is amazing i don't usually like dark colors on me in fact i probably wouldn't wear it on myself because i don't like dark colors on my nails um but this i'm all over this color i love it so much i loved it so much i had to give it its own like it had to have it had to be full color on one nail and i am going to put some of those leaves over the top but i tell you what the i love you, you'll just see in a minute i absolutely love the is it contrast i'm not sure if that's the right word but the the beautiful autumn colored leaves over this gorgeous deep purple i just think is like everything oh i love it so much but then you know like each to their own this is you know not everyone's gonna like this kind of combo but i actually really did um i'm working in kind of small beads because i'm i don't know i'm still not that confident with acrylic after not using it for so long i don't know what it is it's just kind of like kicked my confidence a bit but i absolutely love using acrylic and i must get using hard gel as well because i do really miss using the hard gel yeah i just gel polish just is so much more convenient <laughs> if you're like pushed for time so i've gone over the burlesque with a thin layer of clear acrylic and onto that clear acrylic i'm just placing some of these like autumn leaves and i kind of wanted it to be like a almost a full nail of of leaves but i still want you to be able to see that beautiful deep purple underneath and i, I just love i love i love everything about this nail it's so simple and it's not difficult at all but i just love it it reminds me of when you are walking along the path and the path's covered in autumn leaves you just do you know what i mean ari i just love it but again i'll come back to cut that later um this nail is going to be a full nail of corn dog i didn't want this color see this i i i'm not usually a big fan of like mustardy colors but i've come to the i've come to realize that it's not all about me <laughs> like i've got to do what i think people will want to see so just because i don't like it doesn't mean no one else doesn't like it too just hang on does that make sense like and actually it is a beautiful color i i really actually really like it but my consistency was off a little bit and i had a little bit of a mark so i am gonna put some crystals on that one at the end to kind of hopefully detract from my little um consistency no my inconsistency of liquid powder ratio i don't know what i honestly don't know what i'm saying today <laughs> right this last nail is going to be a full nail of toffee this is the core color oh, i really like this i love this kind of color there we go and i'm going to do a gel polish design over the top of this so in the nail sugar admin group there was um i can't remember who, if it was nat or sarah one of them picked um picked a photo for us to kind of do a set inspired by and that nail had like a tartan design on it so i thought i'd do like um, a burberry inspired nail using the hughes gel polishes on top of the toffee nail because toffee nail is kind of looks like the base color of the burberry that burberry pattern so i thought right we'll kind of do a burberry inspired nail so the gel polishes i've got are rachel wilder's hughes gel polishes these are a gel polish hybrid but they're really i tell you what they're amazing for marbles i haven't actually used them for a little while so it's kind of nice to get them out to be able to use them i'm using the the white one is called ivory i'm using my nail sugar natalie Muggles detailer brush to draw paint on a thickish line on the left hand side kind of coming off the nail and then i'm gonna do another one sort of on the top but leave, you need to leave a gap if you look up the burberry pattern like the burberry like tartan i don't know what you call it plaid plaid um design that's that's basically kind of what i'm doing sort of pretty much basically <laughs> 
and then we're going to do another one at the bottom so these these lines that i'm doing i want them all pretty much the same thickness okay so once that's done that's going to go in the lamp for i think these are 30 second cures i can't remember i think they're 30 seconds and then i've got a striper brush here and i'm going to put a black line on the edge like on the outside of each of the white thick lines that we've done and this black is called raven by the way so can you see so we're, we're gonna go across the bottom and the top and then there is like a thin black line another black line across the middle of the white line Ta -da! so when i've done that i do give this a quick flush cure before i go into the the next line so i'm going to do the two horizontal lines before i do the vertical line i've got a, i've got a coffee here me and my very good friend who actually lives upstairs um she's like my aunt she's she's like she's lovely um, we went to B&M this morning and then we went to Costa on the way home so I've got a coffee it's like a it's like a cold coffee like a I think they call it a frostino um, oh, it's so nice sort of caramel oh I'm living for it I am it's really nice um, so I'm probably going to be a little bit hyper <laughs> alright there we go that's going to again I flash cured the bottom bit and then I'm going to go this is the bit this is the most awkward bit I, I kind of struggle a little bit. These striper brushes actually are, when you're doing long lines like this, they are a lifesaver. But sometimes I still find that my line gets wibbly wobbly. And I think it just, yeah, it just depends. If I'm having a good day, it's great. But still, sometimes I'm like, oh no, it's got a bit wonky. And I'm also out of shot, which is really annoying. You can just about see it there. Um, and then we need to do another one. Kind of, I'm kind of guessing roughly where the middle of this one is it does obviously come off the nail some of these some of these lines like on the actual burberry design thingy the black lines are actually a little, look a little bit faded they look like a little bit grayish but oh i'm also using the the this little cleanup brush that i've got just to the lines were a little bit thick in some places so i do just give the i do look i do here i'm just sort of trying to neaten it up a little bit before i give it a, a full cure and then we're going to do the red so this red is called cheeky it's actually not it's kind of like um it actually does look red it is a red but it's kind of like um a slightly off red not off red that's not the right word off red ah, she's from the handmaid's tales um no it's fine it's the only red i had actually in the hues and it actually done the job perfectly so it's kind of like a cross but it's like off center just two very slim red lines and then yeah that will go in the lamp for a cure and then we can give it um give it a top coat it's top coat time so i can't remember what top coat i'm using it it's probably i want to say madame glam but i don't think it is because i'm also I'm, I'm pretty much out of madame glam <gasps> i need some more top coat and stuff look at that i actually really like that and this one oh my goodness look at this one oh, i love this one so much let me know in the description box. No, not in the description box because you can't put anything in the description box. I can. Let me know in the comments below which nail is your favourite. But don't tell me yet because we still haven't done the crystal nail yet. Oh, that squeaks my doggy's toy. Um, I actually really like this one too. I love the glitter. Oh my God. I love the glitter. I love the leaves. I love the acrylic colours. I love everything about this set. So autumn. There we go. How pretty is that? Oh, I wish I put some leaves on that one as well. Maybe I overdone it with the leaves if I would have put them on that. I actually really like this one as well. I, can't, I don't, yeah, I don't know which is my favourite. I quite like this set. This is like autumn, like personified in my opinion. <laughs> oh dear. There we go, pop that in the lamp. 
and then we're gonna do corn dog is this the last nail you can see can you see at the bottom that mark in the acrylic where my bead ratio has been different liquid to powder ratio can you see it you can see it slightly so we're gonna yeah we're gonna do some if you want to leave it like that that's absolutely fine right that could be your finished set Ta-da! i mean there's loads going on any of those really could be an accent now um but we're gonna use right i've got the autumn mix i think this is preciosa i can't remember and then i've also got um the swarovski mix falling leaves or fallen leaves falling leaves um these are all from the crystal parade and i do have a five percent off code nat5 it is if you want to buy any crystals from crystal parade they still have swarovski crystals by the way um i love preciosa though they are the perfect swarovski substitute in my opinion i've got loads of opinions today <laughs> right um i've put my gem right if you're gonna put gems or crystals on a shiny top coat make sure you buff the surface first if you're doing this on a client because it needs to really be on a buffed surface for the gem glue to to like i mean it will stick to the shiny the shiny top coat but if it's buffed it's gonna it's gonna make it's gonna last it's like you know when you when you start your your if you put gel polish on someone's nails you buff the surface first to get rid of you know get rid of all the shiny bits you know do you know what i mean it things just adhere nicer to a buffed surface that's what i'm trying to say so do that before you could all you could even put the put the crystals on before you top coat um i just at the time wasn't sure if i was going to put crystals on so i top coat it first um <clears throat> these these crystals are like an added extra so i've got like a little kind of necklace shape and then between the crystals i like to put caviar beads um, it kind of fills out the design, it adds a little bit more detail. I just really like caviar beads. And then I am going to put caviar beads all the way around the outside of this golden shadow Swarovski flame crystal. I love the flame shaped crystals, they're gorgeous. I also really like these rose gold caviar i'm sure the rose gold caviar beads were from crystal parade crystal parade have got so many different colored caviar beads there's honestly oh, and also they do some caviar beads that have like a surprise inside you get like a big fat crystal in them but like really pucker nice crystals in them oh. so it's like a you, d you never know what you're gonna get inside them it's kind of like you know like a kinder egg no because you know what toy well you know what kind of toy you're getting but you don't know what toy it is so i mean you know it's going to be a crystal but you don't do you know what i mean yeah she's waffling now okay so i've just popped that in the lamp for a cure and then i've just added a crystal underneath and then i'm gonna add like i've put some you can see the gem glue i've put in like two little swoops and i'm just filling the swoops in with caviar beads see that was so quick you didn't even see it <laughs> there we go that is basically done now i'm going to pop it in the lamp for a full cure and this is the finished set oh um there we go yeah i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing this is kelly's this is kelly's set hers are gorgeous as well oh, don't forget link will be in the description box below for her video go and find it um thanks for watching if you like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I will see you beautiful lot on Monday. Have an amazing weekend. Love you all.